your receptionist slash switchboard operator for the Chicago Lighthouse. I handle all the shipping and receiving here. My role in the legal clinic is to review the documents clients bring in to determine what pertains to the legal situation we're working on with them. I'm the print and graphics operator in the print room. I'm manager for the industry's clock line. On average, we produce 200,000 clocks per year. 100% of our employees are blind or visually impaired. It's my obligation to make sure that our programming gets on the air every day, and it can't be done without our uh, engineering staff as well as our team of volunteers. I work at the call center taking incoming calls for the low vision clinic to schedule patients and answer their questions. The Chicago Lighthouse is a not-for-profit agency committed to providing the highest quality educational, clinical, vocational, and rehabilitation services for children, youth, and adults who are blind or visually impaired, including those who are both deaf and blind or multi-disabled. Vision Rehabilitation. It's just uh, emotional life change for anyone who has been, uh, who has had great vision for the majority of their life and suddenly find themselves either legally blind or totally blind. Many patients get a little bit fearful when they're referred to an agency that serves people who are blind, that they're going to experience further vision loss and their doctor's sending them here because their eventual prognosis is blindness. And that's truly unrealistic and we do our best to explain that to patients. They're coming here because we do offer hope. We do offer things that are going to improve their quality of life and their ability to manage day to day despite the vision loss that they're facing. So this is all history now. I've had these four procedures and uh, there is a definite improvement. I would absolutely urge anyone to come to the lighthouse where there is such an enormously wonderful attitude. They want to help people who need help with their vision. You know, we don't have the magic bullet, but we can always assuage anxiety. And I'm able to tell them from our studies, there's only a 0.4% chance you're going to ever lose all your vision. And that's, <laughs> uh, again, something that can turn a life around. The psychological services component is the entry point of the agency because we want to determine what condition the patient is in psychologically when entering the rehabilitation program. So it's critically important to assess whether the patient might be depressed, in which case the depression needs to be addressed. The program was a result of about a decade of research that I had done when I was in my previous position at the University of Illinois and was working with patients who had age-related macular degeneration and juvenile onset macular degeneration. The program is part of our comprehensive approach, caring for the total patient and understanding where they are mentally when they are faced with vision loss. We work closely to provide uh, specialty products and services to people with uh, low vision and blindness. The basic things of everyday life, like seeing the thermostat on the wall or being able to read their mail, uh, those are the things that the assistive technology can really address being able to be independent. Our educational programs. The Birth of Three program is really a unique program. We send teachers into the homes to work directly with the families in the home one-on-one, -on -one, giving them a lot of emotional support, teaching them about developmental issues and how to teach a child who is blind using all the senses. So it was hard as a mom to connect because you're kind of looking for eye contact and engagement and it's almost it's hard because you feel like you don't have that bond. But since she started therapy, she's come a long way. So she's actually inter interacting, she's checking objects. 
This program is wonderful because we send teachers into the homes to work directly with the family, one-on-one, -on -one, and they become a part of the family. I think without the early intervention program and the lighthouse, we wouldn't be where we are today. Our developmental vision therapist, um, she's, she's amazing. She's, she's my friend. She goes above and beyond to help you. The Child Development Center is for children who are blind or visually impaired with additional disabilities. For instance, if a child were just blind, they would go to a public school in their district and they're all severely cognitively challenged or they have severe behavior problems. Braille is critical. We promote Braille at the Chicago Lighthouse because we know that Braille equals literacy. Students who read Braille are more successful in the workplace, are more likely to be employed. The Illinois Instructional Materials Center provides Braille textbooks and technology to the over 4,000 students from kindergarten to high school students. When a student receives a scholarship from us, I think it's a show of support that really means a lot to them, to know that they have an agency like the Lighthouse, that they have an individual donor or family who believes in them and who wants to support them through their education. It means a great deal to the students. The people who work at the Lighthouse really care about what they're doing, they care about the people, and that's why guys like me are just, you know, you give me, a, you give me a, a loudspeaker and I'll stand on top of buildings and say, the lighthouse is great! Really impressed with the, the schools that our students are attending, the fields that they're going into. So we have students who are studying chemistry and law and social work and computer science. Every year I'm impressed when I see um, the, the great things that our students are aspiring to do. Our employment programs. From humble beginnings back in 1906, the Lighthouse has been a trendsetter in developing innovative programs to meet the changing needs of the blind community. Always cognizant about the need to provide employment, the agency began offering job training in 1910. This initiative evolved into the Lighthouse Industries program, where we manufacture clocks and desk calendars that are distributed across the U.S. and around the world. What makes us unique is that, first of all, we're one of the last large clock manufacturers left in the United States. Most of them has, has gone overseas. We have had very good success with the federal marketplace. It's employed people for many, many years. The people that we have are highly productive. They have a strong work ethic. And it's critical because we need to be competitive. You know, people with disabilities and people who are legally blind or have visual loss, prospective employers don't understand what their capabilities are. They think they know what they're unable to do, but they really don't. So it's a question of training that's really critical, number one. And today, the last 10 years, the evolution of technology, of assistive technology, is incredible. A lot of our clients don't understand that there's technology available for them or that there's organizations like the Lighthouse available to them that they can tap into to help them gain useful employment. And all of these are training programs that actually enhance a person's skills or help us determine and decide, along with the client, exactly what kind of job they're going to be successful at doing. Our independent living programs. Something that always amazes me is I'll be standing on a street corner waiting for a bus. Obviously, I got to the corner somehow. And people sometimes will say, are you waiting for a bus? And it could possibly be pouring down rain, etc. I sometimes want to say, well, no, I just thought I would come out here and stand in the rain to be with all of you. Independent living, I think, is often a very confusing element to many people. Different people may think that independence means that a blind person can leap tall buildings and can do everything on their own. So it's different things to different people. I think one cannot um, define or tell someone what is independence. We started in 2005, August of 2005, we opened this uh, 
Legal Clinic. We're the first service of our kind in the nation which serves exclusively the blind and visually impaired community. So I think we provide um, a great service to a large uh, portion of our community. I don't, I never consider myself an inspiration, but what I will say, it was important to me as a blind young man growing up to know that there are other blind people in various fields that succeeded, that it was possible when you try hard and you fail and you get up and you try again and you fail and you get up and you try again until you succeed, that's the key to success. And I try to convey that to uh, uh, the uh, young blind students and even some older ones. The Deaf Blind Program at the Chicago Lighthouse serves people who have a vision and hearing impairment. And when we say deaf blind, it means anybody hard of hearing, low vision, to fully deaf and fully being blind. And we are the only program in the state that provides the services. Yeah. Nice pause before we come in. It's, it's Sunday afternoon, 4 o'clock. It means it's time for the beacon. Here we are. Bill Jurek here. Lainey Williams here. Nice to have you. He said his ultimate goal was to be a success in life and an inspiration to other people. We're going to pause for a break, but we'll be back with more. You're listening to the Chris Radio Report on Blindness. The Chicago Lighthouse is unique in terms of being a local agency, providing critically important services to area residents, while at the same time maintaining programs that have a global impact. I've never seen anything the likes of it. Whomever you're dealing with at the Lighthouse uh, is going to do everything and anything they can to help one with their vision. Our developmental vision therapist has been an extraordinary piece of the puzzle, I'd say. She's just always guiding us in the right direction. I know she follows all of her families that she has. I mean, they're all like her children. And she's, um, she's a great teacher. And great. I'm extremely optimistic about the future of the Chicago Lighthouse. The Lighthouse is seen as a model system of care through innovative programs in rehabilitation, employment, and education. We have been a leader and a trendsetter in the field of blindness. This is the first time in 105 years that the Chicago Lighthouse has ventured north and created a whole new lighthouse. And we're up to the task. We have an amazing staff of people who are fully committed to doing this. And our future looks bright. <laughs>